New attend turmoil at the top of Wisconsin's corrections department. The corrections secretaries resigned in the middle of a scandal. Investigators looking into abuse claims at the Lincoln Hills Juvenile Center. Jamont Terry is live with who's in and who's out. Jamont. Carol, out the door at the DOC is the Secretary of Corrections, Ed Wall. And today we learned that the federal government is now looking into those claims that young, that young inmates were abused. The complaints and allegations at the Lincoln Hills Juvenile Detention Center in Wausau include serious issues of assault of young offenders. Broken arms, broken toes, you know, sexual assault that they, you know, of a very serious nature. Ed Wall led the Department of Corrections when some of these allegations were reported. Today, Governor Scott Walker announced he accepted Wall's resignation and appointed John Litcher to step in. It will give us a tremendous opportunity. Uh, to take a fresh step going forward, address some of the concerns that have been raised in the past, uh, continue to improve on that. But many, including minority leader Peter Barker, are questioning what Walker and his administration knew about the alleged abuse. Obviously, though, it goes beyond that wall. I mean, the governor, we learned today, had a letter four years ago from uh, a very prominent judge in Racine County uh, with extremely strong language. The governor says that letter never made it up the chain of command to him directly. All that was documented in that, but it's something that neither I uh, nor my uh, senior staff had looked at. It was really between staff who then forwarded it to Department of Corrections. Now the FBI has been called in to investigate the entire matter. It's not a badge of honor that, you know, the feds had to come in. You know, I mean, it's a state. We ought to be able to handle our own problems. Uh, I don't know what, what they'll find. My expectation is that the staff there and anywhere else in the Department of Corrections is going to do what they've done in the past, and that is fully cooperate. And as this federal probe gets underway, there's now a push to stop transferring young offenders from Milwaukee County to that facility in Wausau. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. All right, Jermont, thank you.